Hi, welcome to our video tutorial on CDH walkthrough. Now that you have downloaded Cloudera VM on your machine, let us explore Cloudera and see the various components and services provided by it. We, you can see this desktop here on the Cloudera. This has a one Cloudera's home folder. This contains all the files and folders, all the files uh, made by you, created by you. Uh, it will be storing it in here in the Cloudera's home. Then you have one terminal here, terminal application where you can interact with Hadoop. We've already used this to type in HDFS commands and to learn uh, the basic Unix commands on this terminal. So if you type this command Hadoop, uh, you can see that you have various uh, features out of where you can find out the version and you can type in many commands to this terminal and interact with Hadoop. After this, we have uh, Eclipse, which has come pre-installed with Cloudera and wherein we can type all our Java commands. And here you can see one package and some of the reference libraries. In these libraries, these come uh, with Hadoop libraries and Hadoop MapReduce libraries. And also we have Zookeeper, the MR unit is for unit testing of the code. So that is the uh, Eclipse and other thing we have is the in addition to Eclipse we have this Firefox web browser and this uh, browser it comes bundled with number of browser tools and we are to we are going to see them one by one you can see here Hue, Hadoop, HBase, Impala, Spark, Solar, Rosy and in so we are going to open up all these application tools one by one and find out about the services provided by them so you can see these services here and uh, we'll be going through them one by one so let us first see what is uh, there in this uh, Hadoop so Hadoop has this HDFS name node secondary name node data node then resource, yarn resource manager and yarn node manager we already know we what is a name node second uh, date and data node see name node is uh, the master or the centerpiece of hdfs and it's single point of failure we know so uh, that it's quite critical to hdfs once it gets failed then we need one secondary name node and data node is responsible for storing the actual data in HDFS. So data node is also known as slave node. So this service basically, if we go to name node service, uh, we can find out uh, that this uh, show you some overview of Hadoop stack. Here we can see many things like when the particular initiation of this stack has happened and the, what is the version of our software and uh, other things we can see the entire summary of all the uh, configurations here it has some live nodes dead nodes and we can see that uh, this you can have more than one nodes when it is uh, a distributed system here we are having a single node there, uh, but when you have a distributed system you will have more than 100 nodes maybe in this live nodes dead nodes it will show the all the nodes uh, here so this is about data nodes and uh, in data nodes then you can see all the information about the data nodes here. Then we have this uh, secondary name node which I already told you uh, it's like name node is an indexer. If name node is go, goes down there will be total failure. So we have this uh, secondary name node for the rescue. Then coming over to data node, then we have the, the service show you this overview of the data node. We don't have any node added because we are not on distributed system right now. So do, we don't have any node here. Now this yarn resource manager and yarn node manager, they are replacement of job manager and job tracker in the new version. Okay, now let's move on to HBase. HBase is a NoSQL database. It's a column oriented database that runs on top of HDFS. So unlike relational database systems, HBase doesn't support a structured query language like SQL. So it basically provides random real-time access to your data in Hadoop. 
it has a master server also so if you want to see you can go to this master server you have to configure it before running it so if you want to work with edge base you need to start edge master services that we'll talk about later now let us see hue in hue it's a data warehouse structure built uh, it has query editors like hive so hive is what it's a data warehouse infrastructure built on top of hadoop for providing data summarization query and analysis provides a sql like interface called hive hive ql so here you can type in your queries and execute them okay now let's talk about impala impala is also a query engine that runs on top of apache hadoop so impala allows you to uh, submit some really high performance sql like queries to your data stored into hdfs so you can see you have zero queries in flight then you can see your last 25 completed queries then you can see your query locations and so on okay now what is uh, spark spark uh, is actually it's the best feature about spark is that it enables applications to reliably store this data in memory which speeds up the processing then coming on to uzi uzi is a, is a application which can see where you can see a number of jobs submitted and uh, when they were started and added and how large they were etc so uzi basically is for job scheduling things this also we'll talk about in detail later on so now you have gone through these a uh, quick walk through all these things which we have already discussed in our tutorial earlier about the hadoop ecosystem so you can now find these components on your uh, cloud era through these uh, tabs and links out here so we are there are much more to explore in cloud era that we'll see in our later tutorials while we go through our uh, course thanks a lot